I want this to be the shortest intro ever because I have so much to say about this and I have so much to show you about this. We have footage from about two and a half months ago and I'm gonna tie this whole story together for you guys. So just do me a favor, if you're new to the channel and you love the NBA, you wanna help me get to 500K subscribers, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe and turn on our notifications to help the channel grow. We do NBA 2K career simulations on a channel called Flight Mike TV. And I wanna give a shout out to our latest channel members. Sarah Neves, thank you for becoming a Mike Mafia soldier. Now that we got all that out of the way, cue the intro. It can be awkward or embarrassing to talk about erectile dysfunction. Usually we brush it off or blame ourselves, but Roman is here to get you the advice you want and the help you need with absolutely no shame. With Roman, you can get a free online evaluation and ongoing care for ED, all from the comfort and privacy of your home. A healthcare professional will work with you to find the best treatment plan, and if medication is appropriate, Roman will ship you real medicine with free two-day shipping. The whole process is straightforward, simple, and discreet. Just go to GetRoman.com forward slash Flight Mike to get $15 off of your first order of ED treatment, a free online visit, and free two-day shipping. That's GetRoman.com slash Flight Mike for $15 off of your first order of ED treatment. And thank you to Roman for the sponsor. So in order for you to understand the context of what's going on, I have to take you back to the beginning of October when Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant had some extra time on their hands. So Kevin Durant decided to have Kyrie Irving on his podcast. Yes, this screams PR disaster for us all because Kyrie Irving went on Kevin Durant's podcast and in addition to saying things like, in addition to undermining their rookie head coach, Steve Nash, by saying, I don't really see us having a head coach. KD could be a head coach. I could be a head coach. Hey, how about Jacques Vaughn? Someday, maybe he could be a head coach. It's gonna be a collaborative effort, which I'm sure he meant well. I'm sure he was just trying to say, hey, we're all just trying to be a cohesive unit. But when this stuff is taken out of context, your first year head coach is probably not gonna be a fan of what he's hearing. But that's not all he said, because this is the reason why LeBron got upset. Listen to what Kyrie Irving said about LBJ. 10 seconds left. One point game, who's shooting? You you were Kyrie, KD? Depends on who's hot. I don't see it as that as anything other than that. Like one three pick and roll or it's an ISO for either one of us or it's something great for our our team. I'm one thing I'm I've always been comfortable with is, you know, I felt like I was the best option on every team I played for, you know, down the stretch. This is the first time in my career where I could look down and be like, that motherfucker can make that shot too. What the fuck? Look, man, I have never been a part of Stan culture, and since I'm an NBA news channel, I always felt that it was very important to be as impartial to each side as I possibly can be. But historically, I've seen Kyrie Irving make really poor PR decisions like this before. But let's put all of that stuff aside and just judge based off of empirical evidence. During LeBron James and Kyrie Irving's career, these are the statistics and the effective field goal percentage of themselves in clutch situations of games that are decided between five points with about two minutes left to go in the game. As you can see, LeBron James in such situations in the regular season goes 58 of 136 throughout his entire career with the Cleveland Cavaliers, whereas Kyrie Irving went 28 of 78 throughout his entire career. His effective field goal percentage was 51.7%. Now, if you want to go into the playoffs, take a look at LeBron James's numbers when he was with the Cleveland Cavaliers. 8 for 19, 47.4% effective field goal percentage. Kyrie Irving went 4 of 16 with a 28.1% effective field goal percentage. But even if that is the case, you know, let's take the statistics and analytics aside and let's just look at this in the scope of the way LeBron James treated Kyrie Irving throughout his career. Bear in mind what the Cleveland Cavaliers were before LeBron James even went there. They literally were coming off of a season where they drafted Anthony Bennett and drafted Andrew Wiggins. And LeBron James came through, pulled off his led GM stuff, brought in Kevin Love, and instantly 
the Cleveland Cavaliers were contenders. Now here's LeBron James' reaction to what Kyrie Irving said. I do, I do not make reactions right off the bat because, you know, I've been a part of, I created it uninterrupted because there's times where you can say something and they can take about a small bit of it and then this is what they yeah. blast out to yeah. everybody. And that's why, I, that's why I started uninterrupted because I, I, I got tired of being interrupted about the things I was saying into the media and they would only take, out of the 20 minutes I was talking, they one would take clip. two minutes, one clip, put it on there, LeBron says this. Yeah. And I got tired of that. So when I heard the comment that Kyrie made, I, I wanted to, one, not only find the whole transcript, but also call my people, yeah. send me the whole transcript. And um, and I heard he had did it on K Katie's podcast. And um, I was a, I was a little, I was a little like, like, damn. Yeah. Once I got the whole transcript, I was like, damn. You know, I wasn't like, oh, you tripping. I hit yeah, game yeah. winning shots my yeah, whole yeah. life. I was not like that. I was like, damn, because um, you, you were there for a couple seasons. I, I mean, I played with Kyrie for three seasons. The whole time while I was there, um, I only wanted to see him be an MVP of our league. I only cared about his success. And, 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 um, and it just didn't align. Yeah. It, it just didn't align. And we was able to win a championship. Yeah. That's the craziest thing. We were still able to win a championship and, and we could never align, but I only cared about his well-being, both both on did, and off the floor. Did, and, and it, and it kind of like, it, it kind of hurt me a little bit. Yeah, did it, did it, everything in life is always about timing. Like the time, like, and my thing is like, we all know, <laughs> yeah, that, that's what it was. It was time, to because me, it was the it was finals, like, yeah, it was Fine. We're in the middle, middle of the finals, of and the fight, yeah. I, I, obviously, look, Kevin Durant before his injury was it was like you two. It was you two, Listen. and like you said, KD is one of those people what? that makes sure you wake up in the morning yeah. even when you're Absolutely. tired to go work out. KD's a dog. He's and, so and if good. He, and if he were to say there, like, when I'm tired, I wake up knowing that LeBron James is filming movies, and I gotta go work. I'm not <laughs> speaking for him, but right. you guys motivate each other right, indirectly. Right. You can find the rest of that clip on the Road Trippin' Podcast, but I felt like it was very important to close this story because it's a storyline that's been going on for about two months now, and it just ties in with the number one issue I've always had with Kyrie Irving. He always has come off as unappreciative, nothing is enough, or if you're a hardcore fan of him and you could empathize with him, then I guess you could say he's a little bit misunderstood. And if he is misunderstood, please help me understand because I truly admire Kyrie Irving's talent. I'm mesmerized every single time he steps on the hardwood, but I really don't like the way he handles situations, handles the press, and handled this situation with LeBron James. He's done a lot of good philanthropically as well, but in terms of handling this one scenario, I think he could have gone about it a little bit better. So let me know in the comment section down below, what do you guys think? Aside from that, I'm your boy, The Flight Mike, and I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.